that game was straight roller coaster. Oh my goodness, that got the heart beating fast. Woo, man, that ain't the same Browns. That boy. <laughs> I never seen a game go back and forth like that in a good minute. Oh, it's so much happening in this game. Man, Ingram started again. Fire Greg Roman. That's the first thing I want to say. He still needs to get fired. Oh, my goodness. Marlon Humphrey causing so many fumbles. They say he's leading the league or something like that. And Bush fumbles like eight or something like that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That game was just crazy. Then the first quarter, I thought it was so many flags, man. They said six penalties in the first quarter. And five of them was on the Ravens. But we still made no way. Oh my goodness. Lamar was slipping everywhere. Had to change his cleats. Matthew Judon got rough in a passer for sacking, for hitting him. For literally sacking him, he got roughing the passer. What sense does that make? Oh my goodness. Lamar only threw six passes in that first half. But he was cooking them in the running, though. He was cooking them in the running. Man. Oh, man, that was crazy. It seemed like that first half was just like a tip of the iceberg. Oh, my goodness. Lamar slipped four, five, six times probably in the first half. Everybody screaming, change your cleats. He couldn't change them right away. But eventually they did. Then um, Marquise, he ain't Hollywood. Even though he did that one good play, I'm going to speak about that. And that's the second half. But Marquise dropped like three, four passes right in the hands. No excuse. And he tweeted out the soldier. See, that's why you should never tweet out about being a soldier. Because that can hunt you if you cannot catch that ball good. But Yannick, I seen somebody tweet earlier about Yannick talking about he need to get a sack and all of that. They don't know football. It's not all about the sacks. This dude is bringing pressure. He was in Baker face so many times. Oh my goodness. He was bringing it. Him and Judah on this nice but judah's not gonna be here next year so but bowser huh, we gotta sign bowser man we we have to it's gonna be hard though because we need offensive help as well oh ravens got so much gus ran in for a td and that td that gus ran in on that first half that was beautiful because he i believe he's supposed to be going left and he took that thing all the way to the right. Oh, my goodness. And he was trucking. J.K. was taking ankles. Lamar was taking ankles. Man. Them boy. Ooh, they were breaking so many ankles, man. Man, that was crazy. Then the second half came in. Lamar cooked him again <laughs> with the running. <laughs> I don't know how many yards total he rushed for tonight. I got to find that out. How many yards total rushing he did? Because you would think the Browns, we played them twice. They'd be ready for that. But they wasn't. And they kept showing the stats that he did a... um. Broke a record for Monday Night Football for the most rushing yards. 
the most rushing yards for as a uh a quarterback with 124 yards. Only nine carries. That dude was, man. Ankles was just take, 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 take. Then Bowser comes out there, get a one-handed interception. I still could. That, that play, man, he was like MP Juice Man on that play. He, that was, that. I thought that was like game right there, but. Baker, ever since Baker been, since he been quiet, he been balling. He's been balling. Baker stay quiet, Baker balls. That dude got, got my respect. Oh my goodness. We held down Higgins a little bit and they kept, they kept picking on Harris. Harris is getting, man, I was having flashbacks of Sharice Wright. Oh goodness. That was, oh, oh, I don't even want to talk about that. But Harris getting picked on. Jimmy Smith had a groin injury. Oh, man. Marcus Peters hurt his leg on the a, on a TD. Then the announcer going to say something about, oh, it, I bet it was his pride hurt, not his leg. Like, dude, what the? The dude on the ground, you can tell he hurt, his leg is hurt. He pretty much missed the whole series. But, you know, the, ugh. and they kept trying to jinx Tucker, too. But then Lamar goes out. And Baker takes the game over, gives the Browns a one-point lead. Lamar goes out because of cramps. Then Trace comes out there. Trace runs a little bit. Then he throws to Marquise Brown, he drops it. Throws to Marquise Brown on a critical third down, he drops it. Then Trace comes back out there again, then it's a dud. And the Browns are up by this. Then it's like a fourth and five, and then it hurt after Trace unfortunately hurt his knee. It did not look good whatsoever. Because I believe the Ravens put RG3 on the IR. Now, Trace might be on the IR. So, that will leave the practice squad of Huntley for his backup quarterback. But hopefully, he's all right. But Lamar came out there with that that play to, oh, my goodness. Even Dez Bryant came out there and was like, Superman, this dude. Oh, my goodness. That was a great play. Fourth and five it because if that that was game pretty much right there. Ah, oh, they didn't give him that safety on the points. <laughs> He's just probably like whatever. But then I say Hollywood. My apologies. Then Marquise became Hollywood for a split second on that catch because he caught it finally. I believe he had what six targets. And only two catches. Oh, goodness. I just seen a replay of. Oh, Lord. I didn't see that on the last play. Man. Look like MP Juice Man hurt himself again. God, dog. But hopefully he all right. But, man. DB's getting injured so many. Jimmy Smith. Uh, who will Harris even end up getting injured? Levine had his cold cap had to come out there. Oh, they did give it to him. Okay. Cold cap came out there. Oh, he beat Russell Wilson record by two yards. Most rushing yards by a quarterback. Lamar. Cold cap came out there, and you can tell why he's on a special teams, man. He was looking so stiff, bored, like it ain't nothing. But well, Lamar ended the ended the game pretty good with 17 attempts, 11 complete, and 163 yards. You know we don't have no good wide receivers like that. J.K. Everybody coming to his thing. J.K. 
13 carries, 53. They, it seems like the Browns was just concentrating on stopping the rushing of the running backs, but it wasn't no stopping Lamar. Them, them, them street yardage, backyard football right there, he was killing it. And was that? No, that was Lamar's. Yeah, I believe. I can't think of no other game that he came back and just won it for us like that. Cause that was epic. Cause Justin Tucker had me a little nervous when they showed. Cause I was like, oh, Tucker gonna hit it. But when they showed it was a 55 yarder. Woo! So nervous. Kareem Hunt was doing his thing too. That dude literally was doing everything. And I didn't understand why they took out Nick Chubb, but I don't know. Browns fans, if you're watching this video, please leave in the comments why they took out Nick Chubb. I didn't mind, but I'm just wondering. Hopefully he's all right. And they start giving it more to Kareem Hunt. Because Kareem Hunt wasn't rushing like that, but he was doing some receiving. And the play calling by Wink. That right there is questionable at times. Man, they got a good brotherhood. They just hugging each other like it ain't nothing. This game meant a lot. But he, we was doing really, really good in man versus man. Then they started going zone. But at the end, I understood to why to go zone because so many injuries for the DBs. But, you know, they, they did the best that they could because everybody was getting injured. It's going to be interesting to see what they say after the uh, the game and throughout the week because, oh, Lord, it was scary how many people were getting banged up. But Justin Tucker. I know he getting a game ball though, man. That dude right there. He got a field goal block, but man. Hall of Fame Tuck, automatic Tuck. The dude is just that darn 